Hello and welcome to the video how to configure an incident survey. BMC Remedy Force enables you to run surveys to capture incident and service request feedback from clients. Out of the box, you can send service to clients after an incident or service request is closed. You can set up distribution and scaling options by configuring custom workflows and triggers. You can configure one survey for incidents and one survey for service requests. This is a representation of a survey in Remedy Force. The type of survey questions that you can use is a combination of textual and slider type response questions. Let's have a look on how you can configure an incident survey in Remedy Force. From Remedy Force Administration tab, let's go to Manage Objects and click on All Custom Objects. In the list, let's search for Survey Object and click on it. Scroll down to the Custom Fields and Relationships section and you will notice there are four out of the box questions that is coming with the BMC Remedy Force product. One of those is the Satisfaction Questions, which is a pick list. In this example, I'm going to create a new question that would allow me to know if a user recommends the any product or not. I'm going to select the pick list field type and click on next. For this question, I'm going to call it recommendation and I'm going to enter five values. I'm going to click on next. I'm leaving the field level security values by default and click on next. Save it, and the new pick list has been created. You will see the new field in the Custom Fields and Relationships section. Click on Edit next to the field, and in the Help Text section, type the questions. In this case, it is, would you recommend Ed's product to your friends? And let's click on Save. Then, the next step is to add the new field in the Field Sets. Scroll down to the Field Sets section, and you will notice there are two different field sets for incident and service requests. The first field set are the questions to be shown in the incident survey. And the second field set are the questions to be shown in the incident surveys in the form of color palette. Let's add the new pick list into the first one and drag and drop it. Save it. And also, I want to display this new pick list as a color bar. So I'm going to click on Edit for the second field set. And also, I'm going to drag and drop the recommendation pick list. The next step is to add the survey link in one of your email templates. In order to do that, we need to get the self service site URL. And you can find it going to Setup and in the Quick Find Box type Sites. Copy the cell service site URL and keep it. You can use the incident survey and service request survey email templates to send the survey link when an incident or service request is closed. For this, let's go to Setup and in the Quick Find box type Classic Email Templates. Let's search for the incident survey email template and click on it. Click on the Edit HTML version button and scroll down to the bottom. Here, there's a reference to the survey page. Make sure to paste the cell service site URL that you copied previously before the slash apex. Also, make sure that the incident ID reference is at the end. Once it's done, click on Save. The final step is either create or modify your existing workflow in order to use the email template that contains the survey link. For this, let's go to Setup and in the Quick Find box type Workflow Rules. Let's click on it. And for this example, I'm going to use the workflow called Notify the Client when an incident is closed. I'm going to modify the email alert and I'm going to select the email template incident survey. Search for it and select it. So this is how it works. I'm going to close this incident record 
and wait for the workflow rule to send the closure notification email. Once I receive it, I'm going to click on the survey link, which automatically redirects me to the survey page. Here, you will see the new question that we create from the survey object. Just provide your responses to the questions and click on Submit. I recommend you to have a look into the survey settings available from Remedy Force Administration tab, Application Settings, Survey. From here, you can modify some settings like a use help text values, not field label as survey questions. Also, you can modify the color bar configuration, etc. I hope this video was useful for you. Thank you for watching.